Hey guys, it's the sixth here, and today I wanted to make a tutorial for you guys on how to get more accurate headshots. Now, I'm not promising that you're going to go out and get an eagle next week after maintenance, but with practice, you can get better and better. I'm not saying I'm a pro or I'm the best, but this is how I do it. It worked for me in MGO2, and it's working for me pretty well in MGO3 so far. There are other methods, but like I said, this is how I do it. Okay, so when training with this method, I suggest using the Wu S pistol because first of all, it will not knock over the targets, and second of all, if you play a lot of cloak and dagger like I do, then this will be something that you need to get used to using and get used to using in a pinch. So it goes without saying that this method is for shooting in a pinch and not for standing still. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing I want you to notice is that the character is not in the middle. My character is not in the middle. But, where she aims is dead center with the camera. So that is something you need to pay attention to because that's the key of this method. So, you'll notice that I use my right shoulder, I shoot over my right shoulder because I find it easier to aim on that side. But, either side works. You can use the other shoulder if you want, you just gotta know where the center of the screen is. Um, some people use a dot on the middle of their TV, like dead center, they aim, and then they put a dot right in the dead center, but that's kind of, um, it's unnecessary. So obviously this method works uh, if you don't have a teammate to join a private game with and practice. We have these metal targets. They're all over the map and you can find them almost anywhere you go in the map. This is the free play map that you join right when you boot up the game. Alright, so keeping in mind that you need the target in the center of the screen, um, this works for when you're moving too. So, all you have to do is, when you're moving back and forth, not standing still, try to aim right when the target crosses the center of the screen. This method is good for close to medium range. Uh, you can use it far range, but it's kind of impractical. Um, it's just trying to get the target center of the screen. The further away it is, the harder it is to get that little point in the center. So what I don't want to see you do is this bull crap not, not moving, or if you're moving, you're being reckless, you can't see where you're going. Um, you're basically an easy target, and you will get killed before you can kill them, or stun them. So you gotta just keep moving. Back and forth, practice this like a thousand times, over and over and over. You gotta do this an insane amount of times before your muscle memory picks it up and starts doing it for you when it recognizes that the target is in the center of the screen. So if this method is a little too boring for you, there are a couple things you can do to uh, make it a little bit more fun, more interesting. I'm going to show you one of the ways. You can find other ways to do it too. So go ahead and open up your iDroid. Use a class that is already using your Wu S pistol. Then navigate to your support weapons and equip the C4. Alright, so now that you have the C4, go ahead and plant it on a bunch of vertical surfaces. Um, you can do it all over the map, wherever you want. After you've planted them in the places you want to practice, then uh, it's time to just go ahead and do what you had been practicing before. So instead of having the metal targets, you have a target that actually responds when you hit it in the right place.
So there you have it. That's my method. I hope it was useful for you. Go out and use it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you want to see. If you'd like to see more tutorials, make sure to write in the comments the kind of things you would like to see.